This is a brief guide for where to stay for the Great Migration in January, February, March and April. The reason I've grouped those months together, they're actually very difficult to tell apart. Um, there are also a, a vast number of camps in the area, so I'll do my best to, to summarise uh, um, to summarise all the options and, and make it clear what, what you get for your money really. So January, February, March, April, very difficult to tell apart. The herds are located in the southern Serengeti in northern and Gorongoro conservation area, the Serengeti's short grass plains. It's an area of incredibly rich volcanic soil, very nutritious grasses, the perfect place to raise a young wildebeest. That's what's happening at this time. January and February is calving season or the peak of calving season. 500,000 wildebeest are born in a matter of weeks. It coincides with, the, well, reportedly, the highest concentration of predators anywhere in Africa at any time of year. You then also have some rain. The light rains in December sometimes can be quite heavy. They carpet the Serengeti a lush green. Really, the Serengeti never looks more beautiful. And, um, and epic game viewing is basically guaranteed. So a very good time of year to travel. Now, if you look at this possible migration area here, what we've done is, is, a, is a focus on this migration hotspot, historically where the best game viewing is, where the best camps are, and um, best cat, cat concentrations are. And, uh, and it's backed up by satellite data we've got of satellite tag wildebeest, and, and they move across this entire area, but there's definitely a focus here. And so I would cherry pick Cassini and Ndutu as the places to stay. Now focusing on, on camps, there's a big range in properties here. Value camps, $600 per person per night. The best of them, Nasikia Migration Mobile. Slightly more expensive than that, Lamella and Dutu. Both camps are located here, that's perfect. Now, um, if you want to splash out at Lamella and Dutu, you will get slightly more luxurious accommodation, the camp is smaller, we send a lot of business to the Nasikia Migration Mobile though. Clients love it. Um, the tents are certainly very spacious, ensuite facilities, actually four, um, four poster beds. So it's um, much more luxurious than people expect and client feedback is superb. Nasikia don't try and uh, pretend to be anything they're not. And I think that goes down very well with clients. Um, but splash out slightly, slightly on Lamala and Dutu and, and you definitely get a slightly more luxurious property. Um, stepping up to the classic bracket, and we have uh, one of the biggest fights in the Serengeti as such, Nomad Tanzania versus Assyria Africa. Now, Nomad is one of the oldest um, companies in Tanzania, and their Serengeti operations is the original mobile safari. They are the most authentic company out there. I, I'm a massive fan. We're split in the office here. Half the company loves Assyria Safari, so it's, um, it's Serengeti Safari Camp run by Nomad versus Olakira, usually as the, as the best of Asilia's camps, although they also run um, Kimondo and Ubuntu in the Cassini area here. So very difficult to split those companies apart. Um, at the top end of the bracket, the luxury bracket, around $1,000 per person per night. I'm still talking about mobile camps, and Alex Walker's Serian in Cassini here, and his camp Serian Cacassio down in the far south are outstanding. Alex is one of Africa's most famous guides and um, having him host a property or a guide of that quality host a property is very rare and so um, he also offers private safari actually so you you definitely pay more to stay there but there's a good argument to say you get great value. Um, he's a local and uh, has access to some amazing uh, food from the local farms and things and, and I don't usually focus on the food in a camp, but um, couple that with, with outstanding guiding and, uh, and that is the best of the Serengeti mobiles. Um, if the idea of a mobile camp isn't to your fancy, send shivers down your spine, then, um, then look at the permanent lodges. Now, in Moru here, you've got um, Pioneer Dunia Camp, both outstanding camps. Um, in here, we've got Cassini run by Sanctuary Lodges or Abercrombie and Kent. And, uh, Cassini's, Cassini's a wonderful area, so that's probably my, my, um, my favourite luxury lodge. Right down south here we've got Mweba, um, which is as, luxur as luxurious as, as the country gets. So um, uh, Mweba's definitely an option for, for people looking for luxury above all else. Um, personally I find the location a, a little bit too far away from um, the, the thick of the action. So, 
So for me, um, to be honest, I would always recommend someone goes mobile. The Serengeti is most famous for its mobiles. Those will be the camps you, you talk about in years to come. Definitely the highlights of, of many of our safaris. Um, but overall, uh, an amazing time of year to travel and uh, uh, expect superb game viewing.